All right, I'm down here at the uh, local pick apart. And I'm looking for some valve springs. I'm uh, building a motor for the dually, taking the diesel out. And when I'm uh, building the diesel, I'll uh, throw that little small black Vortec in there. Well, for me to put a bigger cam in there with bigger lift, I've got to have some valve springs that can handle it. You know, right here they are. Um, it's on a, they're what they call the LS6 uh, ones. They come on LS6 motors, but they also come in the 3800 series motors. Um, you're like 98s to 2004s, um, Bonnevilles, Park Avenues. Uh, 2000, 2004 Pontiacs, Grand Prix, uh, they're in the Monte Carlos and Malibus. So, I'm out here just rolling, run, running around getting me some used ones because, I mean, it's not like this motor's going to see a lot of RPM or nothing like that, but I want a little bit bigger cam. So, I forgot my 3 8 socket. I got a 10. Won't fit. It'll pull some of them off. I can't pull none of these off. I was able to get this one. But I was already, I've already pulled some. You know, so. so, here I am pulling these. Let me set up and we'll show you um, how I pull these. Alright, I got you guys set up. Here's what I did. I took the rocker off there. Turned it around backwards. Uh, this one here is kind of hard to do, but normally I'll bolt the rocker to the fucking box end wrench and do it that way. But I just turned it around, stuck the box end in there, then tightened down around the valve spring. And I just reach in there and I just uh, pop the keeper out of there. Come on, there you go. And she's out of there. And then I loosen the rocker back out. There's my valve spring. Uh, hey, why are you using used ones? Uh, because they're cheap. Better than spending like $80 for a set. Or more. I'm not real positive on how much they are, but... These motors here have a real low lift, so it's not like these motors get a lot of, you know, coil bind or whatnot, because the, the cams ain't that real high of a lift. So, I'm doing low budget little Vortec for this, uh, why I do uh, rebuild the diesel in that dually of mine. So, I will pull the diesel out, put the Vortec in there, fix this diesel i don't think it really needs rebuild it's, a, it's just a starter boss where the, the starter sits i've got it i'm gonna i've got to pull it out so i can get the motor out where i can actually like machine that down and get the right amount of shims in there and know everything i need to know it's just too hard and where it's at and i can address any type of leaks or anything while i got it out so when i start building the well i've got the motor Vortex stripped down. Got a new uh, crank for it, new crank bearings, new rod bearings, uh, piston rings, um, a whole new, new gasket set. I'm making it, I'm going carbureted, getting rid of the EFI on it, the throttle body or whatever you want to call it. Off there, pretty sure it's, you know, like a throttle body injection, two, the two barrel. I'm going to be able to put a four barrel. Taking this one with me just in case. You know, if I pull a bolt and a rocker and it falls off, but I believe I've got how many of them springs I got so far? One, two, three, four, five. So I got 11 more to pull. So we'll get to it and get all these pulled and head back to the house. I'll see you in a little bit. I went on another note. Make sure it's the 3800 Series 2. These off for you. Look how clean that is. The retainers. 
they're all yeah, never clean. So I'm only pulling them up off the front of the motor here. I'm not going back there. It's too too hard. It's easier just do the front ones. As a little side note. All right, so here's a better angle. What I did is put the wrench like that with a spring, and then I just tightened the rocker back down. And I may, well, I gotta tighten the rocker down a little bit more. Give me a second here. All right, when I tighten that rocker down, it makes the wrench at a different different angle. You just kind of, ah, you just gotta wiggle it around a little bit so she gets it in the position there to keep it popped out. And the valve staying down. Let's see if I, I don't know. Get you guys up out of the, some stuff out of the way. And I just gotta reach in there with my screwdriver. And, Let me reach in there a little. Tell you what, if you can find one with the motor with the radiators and stuff out of them, it makes it a lot easier. I've got to adjust my my wrench here. Actually, no, it come out and come loose. Boom. There she is. So I've got 10 more to go. I had to go out to my, I had to go out and get my 3 8 and I didn't have a 3 8 socket, so I was able to find 3 8 wrench. I was able to get all the rockers off here. So I think I might be able to do this now. I'll do it the same way as I was. Because I seen. Well, let's make sure you can get it. Come on, I put the bolt. The rocker on there for have my wrench and the dummy. Come on. Uh, well, dipstick was in the way. So then there, I got her started. And see how it flexed my wrench up a little bit. And boom, I just pushed down on it. Come on up out of there. Now I wish I'd had a magnet. I I, think I didn't bring that with me either. Come on. Ah, she popped out of there. I'm gonna ask me how she popped out of there and I can't get it back in there. But... So it's making it kind of hard to get the keeper off. Ah, uh, you sucker. Let me try it the other way here. A second. Of course, nope. Well, you guys get the logist of it. So instead of boring you with me trying to fight this, I'm going to take it off. We'll see you guys after a while. Or when I start out, start installing these on the heads. Well, and as course as I, as soon as I shut you guys off, I, I was able to get this thing set in a way that all I did was tighten the rocker down, didn't have to pry, and the thing just popped them right up off there for me. Let's see if I can do this one while you guys are watching. Look at that. I'm off there. I'm All right, this is my bounty today. Um, all right, so here's my melt bounty for today. Yeah, they're a little crusty, but don't look too bad. Um, I'm not sure if these 
will work or not. I mean, they come off of these. They're uh, the retainers for the springs. But uh, I'm building a Vortec motor for the Dooley. I went to the local pick, uh, pick apart place, uh, junkyard. You'll um, be in this video a little bit on how I pulled them. It's, you know, just what I could do with what tools I brought with me. Um, these are the, what they call LS6 bow springs that you run in the Vortec heads to get more lift. I guess the lift, the uh, max lift on a Vortex are 0. 0.420. So to get more lift, if you use these, you don't have to machine the heads or anything. Now the keepers, I didn't pull the keepers. Well, I pulled them obviously, but I didn't bring them with me. I didn't take them. Um, they've got a 50 thous. Um, offset keeper that will make these sit higher up on the valve stem. Um, so that'd give me, you know, I could easily put a, um, uh, 0.480 lift cam in there, even up to 500, 100,000, uh, lift. I've got, um, I'll leave a picture of to make some models of the cars that these valve springs come off of they they coming out of like the ls6 motors uh the, the corvette motors but these are in different cars and i'm not sure if it's a, a highly known i don't know um they come out of the chevy 3800 series two and three motors they're only v6 motors they're a low lift motor so you know these valve springs don't see a big high lift or get any um coil binding you know it's not a real high lift motor or a cam anyways so here's what i paid for them 23 dollars it was i got them it was 16 our dollar piece for 16 of them they um Kind of didn't know what they were. I said, I'll give you a dollar piece for them. So that's what they charged me. And then it was a $3 environmental fee. And then an emission to get into the place is $3. <coughs> so for less than $25, I've got a whole set of these Beehive Chevy valve springs to put in this cor in this Vortec motor that I'm doing. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, see if I can't find the keepers and take a picture of the, the keepers that I'm talking about on the 50 thous. So, I I believe it can, these these springs will hold up to 530 thous lift. And, um, there's measurements and uh, close height, open height, and 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 for me not to have to worry about doing all the measurements and all that, I know I'm I'm safe at 500,000 lift cam. But I want to run. I'm just going to run the simple uh, 480 uh, thou lift cam, and I I know I'm absolutely safe then. Um, you know, running the uh, different keepers in here, the offset keepers. You do have a chance of running and hitting the rocker arms onto here, but that's at um, I not positive on um, how much lift or what it, whatever, but you do have a chance of your rocker arm kind of hitting this with the offset keepers. Um, you can run your regular keepers in these. From what I'm understanding, see that now I'm not positive these retainers will work. I guess it just depends on keepers locking in there onto the valves that are already in the uh, Vortec head. But I'm pretty sure these will fit if you use the uh, the stock ones um, and just run a 48 thou cam. You don't have I don't you shouldn't have to use the offset keepers. You could use the stock keepers. 
Um, we use the offset. You get a little. You get. You can run five hundred thousand um, lift cam. Just a maybe. Me might. It's just. I doubt. I don't. One hundred percent sure on the clearance of when it will cause interference. Um, and go with a different like a roller rocker. That's maybe what I'm gonna do, but uh so with that I'll uh get the video up with this on how I was out there with minimal tools trying to pull these and uh yeah, I don't I guess I don't I'll get a picture of the keepers too. I'll put a picture of what motors that these come out of. Um, the, they run these in the the, the um, uh, Corvettes, the LS6 Corvettes, but they're they're the same springs. Um, so you want to save some money? Oh yeah, you know everybody's like, why are you putting used springs in there? You, you shouldn't do that. Well, you know what? Every time you do a uh, head gasket. You're putting the head right back on there. Are you putting brand new springs in it? Nope, I'm not. Um, so you, you spin a rod bearing. You, you put new bearings in there. You take the motor part and put new bearings in there. Do you replace the springs? Nope, I don't. Um, so these come off that, like I said, low lift cam. So they're not seeing a lot of binding. Uh, I mean, they're Park Avenue's grandma's cars. I don't really shouldn't call them grandma cars. I don't want to fend them grandmas out there, but uh, Park Avenues, your your Malibus, um, some Oldsmobiles, Monte Carlos, um, anything that had the 3800 Series 2 and 3. So I'll send, stick a picture up with that too. So with that, I'll get the video with the uh, out there at the old pick apart.